hello ladies and gentlemen in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to install visa bank digital banking system version 2.2 and this is the latest version right now to use for your online banking or physical banking project so without wasting much time on this video i will show you guys how to install it on your server easily so first thing you need to do is today is the first time please go to our youtube channel and uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, click the notification bell below so that you'll be notified anytime we upload any video like this you can go through our videos we have posted many videos on how to install different kind of script as you can see them here so once you are done subscribing on our channel you are free to go so now i will direct you guys on how to install this but before you install it you need to get the file from us you can see you can get it from our website bonecoder.com and you can also get it from our website bonechurch.com as you can see it here and we also sell all kind of products can get any kind of products right here you can see them here search for any kind of product you needed on our website we will provide it for you or if you did not see any product that you are looking for feel free to message us on our whatsapp number then we'll get the product for you or we'll get the script for you you can see we have uploaded money kind of script here you can see you can see and so on so first thing you need to do once you are done purchasing this product on our website the first thing you need to do is to go to your C panel make sure you got a C panel or H panel you can get the H panel from hostinger.com you can also get the C panel from hostinger.com they are the best for providing um, hosting so now once you are done just go to your c panel go to file manager click on file manager to direct you somewhere here then you go to public underscore html if you are installing it for a client for a client a client just go to um public underscore html click on it and it will show something like this with empty space make sure you go to the settings here and enable show all hidden files you can see it here just enable show hidden files once you are done enable it just click save once you are done doing that you go here and click on upload you know once you click on upload to direct you somewhere here click on select file and upload the file you want to upload so since i have already uploaded this file as you can see it here i've already uploaded it so once you purchase the product from our website we will give you this kind of file you will upload it here so now i will click on it and extract this file from the zip file then open the folder select all move them out from this folder to the public on the small html So once you're done doing this, you can see it here, just copy your, your, your domain name, search your domain name stroke install, you can see we are having something like this, we are having something like this, so what you need to do right here is, like I told you, once you get the script from us, we will show you how to install it. And we also send you the file needed for the installation project. So once you have extract and upload this file, this file and folders right here, you need to delete this folder, delete it. Then now go to install, then delete this. 
the ladies the ladies to So once you got this script from us, we will send you this file that you will upload here. So once it's done complete, you close this and refresh and reload it. You can see we now have index.php. Then go back here and uh, refresh this page. So we now have another um, background that says Bunchu's community. So you can see, just click on agree next step, then set up these permissions, just go back to your file manager, go to Chrome, click on storage, change the permission, open it select this two file change the permission to change the permission of app to go back open this and also change the permission here once you are done with this then let's go back here and we check so we are done with this so let's click next step so right here now they said upload the database details so what we need to do here is to upload our database username name and database who's database password admin um, username admin password and email so now let's go back to our cpanel and go to database wizard then create a new database then generate a password or you can use the password of your own any password you wish to use add the password here then here is our local host then let's go back and then select this copy your database name make changes once it's done you go back here and paste the database name since I'm using the same I'll also paste it on the database user so here is our admin username so you can add any of your choice any name you want to you want to add as an admin username so i will be adding one choose then the password will be admin then here i will also add bunch of email then once i'm done setting it up like this i will click install So they said your system has been installed successfully v valid license bunchworks.com please rate us five star on code can you if you found our installation process easily and they also said please delete the install folder from the server as you can see right here just click on go and go to website and activate wow so we have launched the website right here then let's add admin let's go to the admin data um, dashboard then our username our admin username is punches then our password is admin 
then click on install I mean login sorry so you can see this is our admin da um, dashboard and you can see this is the version here visa band version 2.2 2. you can see it here so now let's go to general settings you can change a lot of things right here you can add any thing you wish to add you can also change the the base color the second color you can change the currency symbol currency you can also change the title let me change the title to boom choose like this then click submit you can also see um, general settings update successfully you can see i've already changed it and you can see it's already showing on the top there so you can change a lot of things here you can also set up a otp exper experiment short time you can also set the account number you can also set the account number digit here is the cron job settings for loan and the dps and fdr cron job they are all here you can also set this right here then system configuration here you can enable online registration you can also enable user um, branch user registration if you want to user to register on the branch area you can also enable it here and also force ssl then you can also enable a lot of things kyc you can also enable it email verification email notification mobile verification and the sms notification in the uh, language option deposit you can enable deposit and disable deposit you can also enable withdraw and disable it too here is a uh, own bank transfer you can also enable it and or disable it here is our other bank transfer here is wire uh, wire transfer here is otp email here is a uh, otp via sms here is referral system and the uh, push notification then let's also get uh, go here okay you can see you can also add a live chart click on configure and then configure it after configuring you click on enable to enable successfully so you can also let's check on here is our seo manager you can also change you can also add your logo here then change the this and write your own and um, description then here is manage template there is no template we only have one template right here then we also have kyc settings here you can see the kyc Here is system application. You can also see it here. Then here is our branches. Click on it. We can add a branch. You can add a branch right here. Then here is wire transfer. Wire transfer settings. You can also set a wire transfer right here. You can also set a wire transfer form can see it here this is other bank transfer okay other banks here you can add other banks you want to add you can add this is the name add the name add the name of the bank processing time at the time the it takes to process money to the bank you can also add the maximum transaction amount uh, maximum transaction count you can also here this is daily monthly and the Consist set of user data. This is money transfer. This is withdrawal. Check. Also add the withdrawal mode. Deposit. Set up a deposit. This is payment gateway. We have automatic payment gateway and manual payment gateway. Here is the automatic payment gateway. You can add it up. 
right here anyone you wish and here is also minor payment gateway you can also add the payment gateway right here too so that is it so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to share this video to the lovely ones like i told you if you need the script just message us on our whatsapp number or you go to our website you go to our website bonjux.com or bonkoda.com so thanks for watching this video once again and don't forget to share this video to your lovely ones